Azerbaijan and its environs are depicted on this map. There is a star next to Baku to indicate that it is Azerbaijan's capital city. Azerbaijan also includes Nagorno-Karabakh and Nakhichevan as additional territories. Iran, Armenia, Georgia, and Russia border Azerbaijan to the country's left. On the right, you will see the Caspian Sea. Azerbaijan is surrounded by a number of nations. Data about renewable energy sources may be seen in the graph. The graph clearly shows that heating and cooling has the highest percentage, at roughly 51%. The graph clearly shows that transportation, with a share of roughly 32%, has the second highest figure. According to the graph, the smallest percentage is in power, which is roughly 17%. As a whole, the graph is a wealth of knowledge. This pie chart shows the proportion of businesses of varying sizes in the United Kingdom. Businesses with 50 to 149 employees account for 36% of all businesses. At 34%, small enterprises with 0 to 49 workers come in second. Only 30% of all organizations have 150 or more employees, making large corporations the rarest of the rare. While medium-sized firms are more prevalent, huge ones are less so. The graphic depicts a frog's life cycle. The life cycle of a frog begins with eggs and finishes with an adult frog. The embryo is made up of jelly-like albumin and yolk from the fertilized eggs. 
Tadpoles are the first stages of a frog's development. Tadpoles attach themselves to a material and then depart when they reach the stage where they develop a mouth and skin over their gills. The tadpole's front limb is created in the shape of a bulge in the following milestone, while the hind legs are developed. Tadpoles have tails that get shorter as they grow older, eventually disappearing when they are fully adult frogs. This graph shows the population of Litchfield, England, from 1901 to 2011. In 1901, the city had a population of roughly 8,000 people, and in 2011 it had a population of around 32,000. Between 1951 and 1971, the population grew from 10,000 to roughly 23,000, which was the most rapid growth period. Overall, the population of Litchfield has grown significantly during the past century. There are four categories of media advertising that are compared in terms of cost, which is assessed in US dollars. At $257 in 2030, internet advertising is estimated to be the highest, while TV advertising is predicted to be at around $55. As a whole, the cost of all media is expected to fluctuate greatly in the future, with the internet costing the most and TV the least. The number of persons living in poverty between 1970 and 1990 is depicted in this line graph. 
38% of the world's population, 1.4 billion people, were living below the poverty line in 1970, earning less than $1 a day. Nearly two-thirds of the world's population, 1.4 billion out of 5.3 billion, was living below the poverty line and earning less than $1 a day in 1990. Despite the fact that the number of people living below the poverty level has remained the same, the proportion of people worldwide living below the poverty line has declined during the last several decades. In 1970 and 1990, 1 1.4 billion people were living below the poverty level. The bar graph depicts the day-to-day -day fluctuations in the number of people using the London Underground. The station is rarely more than 100% full at any one time of day. At the station's busiest periods, which are 8am and 6pm, there are about 400 people. This isn't unexpected, given that these are the hours when most people are either on their way to work or have just arrived home from it. As a rule, the station is least congested between the hours of 6am and 8pm each day. 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, are peak hours for traffic. Obesity is still a big issue in many wealthy nations today. The United States has the greatest percentage of obese persons, 74.1%, followed by New Zealand, 68.4%. Then there's Australia and the United Kingdom, with 67.4 and 63.8 points, respectively. Canada is fifth on the list, with 61.1% of its population fat, while Ireland is sixth, with 46.6% .6 of its population obese.
An amazing picture shows the beauty of the Mother Nature and a classic man-made structure. It seems to be a wooden bridge in some lush green jungle. The bridge is pretty long, and the camera angle is marvelous as the photo shows the stretch of the bridge till the end on the other side. The bridge is protected by a beautiful net on both of its sides. The photo creates an illusion of an elevated bridge that otherwise may not be the case. Finally, looking at the image, I can also guess that the bridge is built at some height as there is no ground or land visible in the photo. The strata of the Earth are depicted in this illustration. The crust is the Earth's outermost layer, and it ranges in thickness from 5 to 25 miles. At 1,800 miles below surface, the mantle and outer core are found, 1,400 miles. Finally, the Earth's inner core measures 800 miles thick and is located deep within the planet. From the outer crust to the deep core, the Earth is composed of several layers. The map image is labeled as HAD CM3 model, IPCC says a 2 scenario. It is pretty visible that most of the top or northern portion and some portion in the south of the continent is painted with grey which means the lands here are not suitable for cereal growing. The middle portion of the map is marked with off-white color showing that there is no or ignorable change in cereal production. The topmost portion and some portion in the south are of a red color which means it'll have decreased output minus 50% of more. The green shades are scattered across the map showing 5 to 25% increase. Overall, the map shows the mixed information on serial output.
The geological image depicts the Earth in three-dimensional cross-sections. In the image, there are multiple layers with various color tones. The blue layer is referred to be the atmosphere, while the layer immediately after it is referred to as the crust. The mantle layer makes up the center half of the Earth, whereas the outer and inner core make up the outer and inner core. There's also a triangle-shaped part that delves further into the strata. Oceanic crust and continental crust are the topmost layers, followed by the upper mantle. The mantle continues down to meet the Earth's outer core. Overall, we may deduce that the planet is made up of several strata of varying thicknesses. The above graph shows a survey conducted among 35 members on what kind of pet they own. 11 members own a cat as a pet. 8 members own a dog as a pet. 6 members own goldfish as a pet. 5 members own hamster as a pet. A very less number of people own a rabbit as a pet. Overall, the highest number of people owned a pet cat and the lowest number of people owned pet rabbit. From 2008 to 2013, the graph depicts how social media has impacted followers, advocates, and donations. More than anything else, it was the number of followers that increased the greatest within the time span. There was a noticeable increase in the number of donations from approximately 50 in 2008 to over 600 in 2013. In general, social media increased the number of followers the most while decreasing the number of donations.
from 2005 to 2006. This graph shows the link between the male labor market and the overall trend of economic inactivity. In terms of the male labor market, 68% of the population of 5,543 is working, while just 4% of the population is jobless. During this time period, there are 2,260 men who are not working. In terms of economic inactivity, girls and males appear to be on opposing extremes of the spectrum. Females had a considerable decline in the number between 1911 and 2001, while men saw a minor gain. To summarize, throughout the course of a century, the patterns of economic inactivity underwent significant shifts. The Far East Shopping Center is shown on this map as part of a neighborhood in the city. Nearby the Royal Thai Embassy, the retail mall is positioned in the middle of Orchard Road and Orchard Boulevard. Both Lyot Towers and Hui Lark Place are located on the right side of the Forum Shopping Mall, which includes the Hilton and Four Seasons Hotels and the Forum Shopping Mall. At general, the Far East Shopping Center is located in a central location on the map shown. The two diagrams show how electricity can be generated from the rise and fall of water caused by sea waves. The process involves a structure which is mounted on the side of a cliff or a sea wall. This structure consists of a large chamber. One end is open to the sea, and the other leads into a vertical column, which is open to the atmosphere. The first diagram indicates that when a wave approaches the device, water is forced into the chamber, applying pressure on the air within the column. The second diagram illustrates the next part of the process when wave retreats. As a result, electricity continues to be generated. The turbine rotates only in one direction, regardless of the direction of the airflow.
There are two images depicting a variety of computer users' seating postures. A poor sitting posture may be seen in the right image, which depicts a person bent over in his chair. This posture may cause headaches and back discomfort because of the strain on your neck and spine. The left image, on the other hand, depicts an ideal sitting position. People's shoulders and hands relax when they sit straight at the table. Because the distance between your eyes and the display is greater in this position than in a terrible one, it's also healthy for your eyes. To summarize, a faulty sitting posture can put your health at risk, thus you should always sit in the correct position while you're working or studying. Using the accompanying bar graph, we can see how many Australians had internet connection between 2001 and 2004, in millions. For one thing, the number of people who have internet connection has increased dramatically since 2001, growing from 40 million to slightly under 60 million in 2004. In general, the number of Australians with access to the internet has risen steadily each year, reaching a peak in 2004.